Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I have some shopping hauls for you. It's a little mix of everything and nothing. I went into town, I wanted to return some stuff that I'd bought from Nex, so I did that. And my main prior priority was to try and find a mirror in TK Maxx to put in the lounge. One of you actually suggested that and I think it's the perfect idea. I wanted to get that and a wreath for my front door. Autom autumnal, autumnal, autumnal wreath. Anyway, that's a mouthful. Did I find those things? No, I did not. Did I buy a whole of other bits and bobs? Yes, I did. So I have for you small hauls from Poundland, B&M, TK Maxx and M&S. Let's start with Poundland. They're the closest to me here. Um, so I've seen online quite a few shopping hauls from Poundland where they had quite a lot of stuff for autumn. I went in. My Poundland is not very good. It's actually pretty awful. So they had two pumpkins left and they were already starting to put out some Christmas stuff. I got talking to the guy who was doing that and he said that is just bits and bobs they had from the previous year so yeah that was it but i did manage to get something it's the year of the mushroom one pound fifty i thought that was really cute they had a, another one that was a bit more conical um, but i got this one i thought this was quite cute and yeah i'm into the mushroom thing i prefer the these sort of kind of colors to the reds the reds for me don't say um autumn to me you know the bright reds they say like summer not even spring but like summer mystical kind of thing anyway i got that uh, i then got some tissues 150 i also got some toothbrushes just a pack of three there some Biscoff biscuits, because why not? And I got this little thing of sweets. I'm gonna keep these aside to maybe give to my kids on Halloween. I also got some batteries. So that was everything I got there, and that was £12.75, okay? I then popped over to B&M, which is what's in front of me here and guess what I found another mushroom this one though was three pounds and it's a flat mushroom they're the same sort of height I quite liked the color as well they're pretty much the same sort of stuff but one's three pounds 150 it's a big difference but I just I just went for it they had a lot more stuff Mainly Halloween, they had pumpkins. I did not want to buy pumpkins, I have enough. And very much Halloween inspired. They did, however, have acorn. And in the a year of mushrooms, be an acorn. This one caught my eye. This was also three pounds. Um, it is a candle, but I thought, one, I love the color, I thought, that's cute, let me just open it. So there it is. I think it does smell of something, but you guys, I still haven't, I don't, still don't have my smell fully back. Spiced Woods, acorn scented candle. I can smell like a little hint. Yeah, three pounds, but I thought very, very cute. Okay. I also picked up these last time i was in there i picked up this shawarma shawarma chicken spices for the air fryer and one of you actually said let us know if it's good and it is good i got another one for 69p why this makes it an air fryer i don't know i think it's probably because it just tells you just add some pepper and one tablespoon of oil but if you wanted to buy that and do the, exactly that and just cook it on the stove top. I think you could. It's just the spices. 
and um, the only reason why I bought it is 69p it is worth it in my eyes and I also got a fajita one to try I got those I picked up one of these pots honestly sincerely for no reason whatsoever just because I don't have one of these um, they are they you know they are really nice I thought it is quite autumnal isn't it but you can use it all year round I just took the price off it was two pounds fifty I liked it it is not the drink I always look because it's got a small sort of indentation there I thought oh maybe it's a drink one it isn't it's just a little pot um what else did I get let me get rid of this I also picked up some honey there some Pyrenees Nando's mayo if you don't if you haven't tried this you should I went for the mild because we are wusses when it comes to spice but we love this this is delicious in a halloumi burger something like that or dip your chips whatever some of that I also picked up some ketchup because we needed some some um tuna this was three pounds for four cans which i thought it was quite a good deal i also got some of these little decorating eyes so these are edible cake decorations i thought for halloween i'll probably make something and i thought those are quite cute i have these without the sort of the red and I use them when I bake cookies at Christmas just put little eyes on them and then what else what else oh I got one of these galaxy cookies last time I was there I got also not this brand um, I got the other brand I forget the name Betty Crocker or something they were actually quite nice I am um, the other night I had someone over for dinner and I was like what am I gonna make so I put them upside down I made the dough by using that mixture I put them upside down on a muffin tin and made them into like little cases and then a scoop of ice cream done everyone loved it so I thought you know what that is not a bad idea when you're running short on, t on time or you can't be bothered and they were good they were good so yeah I got that and then finally I got three chocolate bars. We always enjoy having like a movie night on a Saturday. So I thought it'd be quite fun um, for us to try these that I've never tried. So this is a twirl caramel milk. Yeah, sorry, let me show you. A twirl caramel milk. The other one is a twirl honeycomb Sunday flavor. I mean, and then I just got a double decker because Paul and I were talking about double deckers and Alex has never tried one so I just got some and we haven't had one in ages so I just got those that's everything from B&M now let me show you M&S M&S was mainly food so I got some brioche buns I'm making halloumi burgers I also got some bao buns these are ac i'm actually going to freeze for when i want to use them when i'm cooking something that would go nicely in there i also got some crumpets a big baguette which we just had for lunch so it's already gone and what else oh let me i got this you guys this is passion fruit lemonade it is so sour I, I, like, I couldn't drink it. Like Paul had his, but I couldn't drink it. I am going to need to mix this with something, maybe lemonade. I cannot taste the passion fruit at all. All you can taste in my eyes is lots and lots of lemon. But it's making my mouth hurt just thinking about it, how sour that was. Um, so I wouldn't buy that again. I got Paul some barbecue crisps. He loves barbecue. And then I got couple of cleaning products i on tiktok everyone's raving about ms stuff got some large floor wipes i find these are awesome for bathrooms one i will wipe all the counters down and then to another one to clean the floor done 
very quickly. These were £1.25 for 15, which is not a lot. And then I also got the washing up liquid to try. How aesthetic is the bottle though? Right? M&S is on it. I also have, let me show you, hold on. I have the carpet and upholstery cleaner like this. Uh, I've used them on a couple of cushions just to take a quick stain off and it worked really, really well. But again, looks so nice, right? I'm usually a decanter. As you guys know, I decant everything into my own uh, containers, but I feel like I wouldn't have to do so with these. Very, very cute M&S. That was it from there. Excuse the mess over there. That's all, um, all my shopping bags and stuff. Anyway, let's get on to TK Max. So I, I want, really wanted to find a mirror, but I couldn't. And by the way, why are mirrors so expensive? Okay, so I had a look around. The first thing I got was this little Steve, Steve Madden purse. I really liked it. I was looking for something small to put inside. This is the bag that I used today. This little bag that I also got from TK Max a while ago. But so I want a little purse that can live in that bag constantly, you know, so because my big purse doesn't fit in there. So yeah, this was $9.99, which I didn't think was bad. They had absolutely tons of Steve Madden purses, uh, not just purses, but handbags as well. So it has two things for cards, a little thing for coins, and then a bigger, it's hard to see, but it's like a bigger pocket at the back there to put like, whatever you want notes maybe and it also comes with this little hook so you can have your keys if you want with that which would be quite handy so yeah that was 9.99 i love the color as well it's like this sort of green color oh uh, what else a wooden spoon i need to replace my spoons they are looking wooden spoon sorry pretty battered but they didn't actually have a set there. So I, I thought this was really gorgeous, actually. This was $3.99. The brand is Bissetti, Italian brand. Yeah, I just thought the lighting, there you go. Got one of those. I picked up two of these little spatulas. This was $3.99 for two, for two. I have another two and I'm always running out of spatulas. I use these all the time for the air fryer. So more is more. And look at the pretty golden detail. The green is again, gosh, yeah. I got this really cute frame. I thought that looks lovely. 6 99 this was, really like that. I wanna print out a load of pictures some, so if you don't know, usually I put them up our stairs on the wall, but I wanna have a couple just sitting on frames like that. So I thought that was really cute. I also saw this and I thought, that looks lovely. These are farmhouse biscuits, lemon and white chocolate. The tin is what got me. These were 3.99, so not cheap. But these are not for us to eat. These are, you know, if you ever get invited somewhere for a cup of coffee. I always like bringing something with me. Usually I bake it, but if I don't, I can take something like that. Very nice, Three ninety nine, like I said. Or if I don't come across the perfect person to give this to, this will be great as a Christmas present as well, you know, for the teachers or something like that, as part of their present. Okay, and then I also got these. These are like kitchen towels, literally. Kitchen towels. I just thought the pattern was gorgeous. I have my display kitchen towels. So they're not really towels, they're like cloths, aren't they? You know, 
I showed you these kind of this kind of material so those are in just mainly for display right because they look pretty and then I have the ones that I actually clean my hands to or the or something you know can I clean a, a, a plate or something and I, then I prefer this toweling sort of material I just thought these were so so cute and I am a firm believer if you can buy it cute why would you buy it plain so cute it is these were seven seven ninety nine so eight pounds for three that's not cheap but the quality is really good and you get a um, sort of gray and white the middle one is sort of greeny color and then there's a cream one as well so I got that oh my favorite purchase are you guys ready it's a mug with a witch's hat inside. Hat, look at the detail on this handle. This brand is phenomenal. Skovde, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, they had so many designs. I have bought one of these for my mother-in-law before, and I'm pretty sure I would have shown you, but hers had a rose inside. They had so many designs, you guys, so yeah. Love those. Uh, what else? Oh, this. So, I also picked up, <coughs> thought I'd broken that, no, it's fine. I also picked up a beauty blender kind of thing. This was $2.99. It says makeup sponge with lemon net natural powder. Anyway, it's a sponge for makeup. I also got this strengthening rosemary hair oil. Whether or not this will work, you guys know that I'm losing loads of hair. I know it doesn't seem like it, but trust me, I am. Um, I thought I'll give that a try. Spanish Garden Company, uh, but it's made in the USA. There you go. Put the hair on me. So got that. I also got these, all these bows for my hair. The reason why I got these, I like the bows, but the, um, they're very in at the moment, aren't they? But usually they are with a grip, right, that you put in your hair. And I don't like those, but these were all like this. And I thought, they all look lovely. They just give a little extra. I put on a dress, one of those in my hair. It looks like I've made an effort for like two seconds work. And then finally, the last thing I got was this. This little sort of bowl. Now, there is very traditional pottery in Portugal, which is what caught my eye. I was like, oh, I grew up with lots of that kind of stuff around. So I was like, maybe that would be nice. I picked it up and you guys, you probably can't see, but it is made in Portugal. So I even think it, the brand is Deltis and I've just seen there is microwave, oven, food use, freezer and dishwasher safe. There you go. Get yourself a cabbage bowl. That is it. That's everything I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.